This is a follow-up to the previous video where I was struggling to take off the side panels. Um, this is the mem this is the uh, upgrade uh, for the memory of the Ready NAS, the, the Netgear Ready NAS NV Plus. Um, this is the upgrade for the memory from uh, the default 256 megabytes of memory to the authorized um, Corsair uh, value select DDR1 333 megahertz, one gigabyte of memory. So this is an authorized memory module, um, although uh, Netgear uh, says that if you install it yourself, you will be voiding your warranty. So um, nevertheless, as long as it's an authorized piece of memory, you're okay with it, um, and you know, assuming you know how to install it. So in this video, I will be showing you how to install it. In my previous video, um, I had already taken the, taken the screws off of the back. These are the screws here. You have one, two, three, and four. Those have been removed and placed in a safe place. And uh, basically, we're gonna remove the sides of the unit. And uh, in my previous video, uh, it, it, I did have a struggle with it. So I have then uh, followed up with this video. So let's go ahead and remove the panels. Basically, you just slide it back and then um, just pull it out. And hopefully, there we go. So it does take a little more uh, effort, but uh, once you remove that, it comes off just like so. And I'm just going to put this on the left and on the right sides just to make it easier. On this one here, basically, you're going to do the exact same thing. This one's a little easier, though. Um, so let me just turn this way here. So slide it off like so, and just pull it off like this. Once you've done that, you're revealing the sides of the unit. So on the sides of the unit, there are some holes here for ventilation. You do see uh, peeking through one of the hard drives that I have in there. Um, on the other side, you will see that there is a ribbon cable here. Um, the ribbon cable is for the uh, power, the power and um, the light indicators. So that is there as well. Now, um, to continue on, basically, I'll just show you here, just stand it up a bit. So over here, you'll see that there is one, two, three, four screws that are holding this uh, top plate together, the top plate on there. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to remove those four screws once again. These are four screws. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these screws from the other four screws that uh, I previously removed simply because I don't want to mix them up. They do appear to be different courses in terms of the thickness of the screw, but uh, just to be on the safe side, you don't want to mix them up and uh, possibly put the screws uh, in the wrong places. So once I've unscrewed that, basically it just lifts up, lifts, lifts up as so, which will then expose the, um, the memory module. So, um, as I said, this is the memory module that I've already upgraded. So I've put this memory in here already myself. Um, after doing it, I decided, why not put, make a video for this? So, here is the memory module, like so. Um, basically, when you're putting the memory in, you do want to put it in on an angle. This is approximately 30 degree angle. When you slide it in there, then push down, that will clip in the two uh, side clips which you'll see over here. It does clip in on this end and this end here. Um, I'll just show you on the older memory that's in here, that, sorry, that, that came with it. There's a, you'll notice there's a notch here and also a notch over here. Those two notches is where the clips fit into. So once you've done that, you can then close up the unit. Once closed, you want to power it up. And the power up for this unit does take a little longer um, on the initial startup, simply because the system has to do a verification check that the memory is in good condition and um, that it is, uh, it, it is able to perform on that memory. So once you start it up, um, if, you, if you've ever used this unit, you'll notice that the startup of the unit, um, the fan does come on and it does um, stay full blast, so it does sound very loud. Um, now, norm, under normal conditions, that fan does stay allowed for approximately um, 
I would say five seconds. Once the five seconds is finished, then the fan speed does throttle down to, um, to either not remaining on, online or, or on, um, to just being a, a, very, um, a very slow movement of the fan. So, um, once you've put this unit back together, once again, as I said, just power it up. Once you power it up, it will, be, um, it will take a couple of minutes to um, configure itself with the new memory. Once you have it configured with the new memory, you should then be able to um, <clears throat> use the unit without any difficulties. So, uh, that concludes our video today, um, and I hope you are able to rate and review the video, and I appreciate any comments that you might have. Thank you very much.